Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 27th of March and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe I'll turn a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB 2 for April at the end of the video and I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video say was JMA Friday. So uh, if you'd like to have a look at that, the uh, month ahead look ahead with the Japanese and CFS beta models, then uh, you are more than welcome to do so. The video is here on the uh, Gaz Levis YouTube channel right now. There was no 6 a.m. Uh, forecast today because I was a little bit on the border side yesterday with uh, a migraine. I am feeling a lot better today, but still feeling the headache, uh, you know, with heaviness and that in my eyes. So I'm still feeling a little bit fragile. I feel like I've had a little bit too much about shit water. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, day after the night before kind of feel um, today. But I am getting better. So by tomorrow, I think I should be pretty much back to normal, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, now, I probably won't be live streaming uh, tonight, if that's all right with everybody. Um, just being a little bit too delicate, you know, to be doing a Friday night live stream, which is a nuisance because we've got two more uh, to go this week and next week. But I will definitely do next week's final uh final Friday night live stream for season three. That will definitely be next week. Even if I'm going to get off my deathbed, I will do uh, <laughs> next week's Friday night live stream. But, um, you know, it, it's a decent. But uh, there we go. These things can't be helped, can they? So, um, again, I'm so sorry, everybody, you know, for what happened yesterday, not doing any videos, and no 6 a.m. forecasting, and also no Friday night live stream. Hopefully things will be completely back to normal uh, on the channel tomorrow. Uh, right, okay, so uh, that's all of that info. Uh, so I should get on with the 14 day event and uh, we'll have a look. So uh, we're going to start off with the temperature. The CT is now sitting at uh, 4.5, which is 1.2 degrees below average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 16th of March. So, uh, you know, it's been cold first half to March, cold average first half. We are seeing recovering in the CT, We shall see where we end up with that. These are the GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on the heads wall today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for heads wall. We're starting off above average for the next few days. It's going to be... Uh, continuation of relatively mild conditions. We are seeing signs of a lowering of those upper air temperatures as we go through the final week of March, possibly getting colder than average actually in the closing days of the month and into the beginning of April. Within that there is a lot of scatter so uh, we've got all of these on some members down here that are cold but I've got the milder on some members up here and some of them going really quite warm actually look at these ones up here they are clear outliers but uh, they'd be enough to get the temperature probably to around 20 degrees I would have thought uh, if they uh, came up certainly to be upper team Celsius uh, anyway but let's say they are they are outliers um, but it does highlight the fact there is a lot of uncertainty here the overall thrust of the ensemble however I think is uh, going to be a little bit on the colder side. The white line should be on some of mean is actually below the red line there through the closing days of March into the opening days of April. Telling us that overall a cooling trend is uh, more likely through the last week of a month. Plenty of precipitation to come as well. So we've got some uh, rain come over the weekend and uh, more next week. It does look as though the uh, unsettled spell will continue. Temperature anomalies on the 17th, 25th of March going to be uh, mild than average. Precipitation anomalies from the 17th, 25th of March. Western average in the far north, near nor elsewhere. A little, a little bit on the drier side, though, for eastern counties. Latest weather map from Earth, no school dot net shows that low pressure is uh, well and truly in control today, sitting to the western island and uh, bringing in. Those uh, mild southerly southwesterlies. It's a balmy feel. You haven't yet been outside, away from Northern Scotland anyway, where it is a bit colder. Right, so Mr. Elvis, as you commit your run, is looking for midnight on Monday. Low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. And uh, that continues through next week. Very unsettled look to the weather charts for next week with low pressure and contrived weather throughout the week with further bouts of rain to come. Winds coming in from the Atlantic, so always relatively mild, away from northern Scotland, where we have colder, easterly winds. 
I can't, again, looking uh, unsettled as we go through next week with plenty of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. It really is a low pressure fest, so spells of rain, uh, showers in between, relatively mild in the south, colder though, uh, colder air though, digging back into the north uh, by the end of next week. That gets us to Friday, the 24th of March. The GFS midnight run, a little transient ridge of high pressure uh, Sunday into Monday, but it's only ahead of the next area of low coming in Monday, Tuesday. And then low pressure is in control throughout next week, bringing spells of rain in from off the Atlantic. Try to raise pressure a little bit towards Greenland and Iceland again by Saturday, 25th of March. So that's only going to get colder, but it doesn't come off as the next load just rolls back in from off the Atlantic. It keeps the unsettled weather going. And then into the next range up to month then, saying very unsettled, more low pressure, bring further bouts of rain through to the end of March. And begin to get colder as that low pressure shifts eastwards into early April. Cold weather being to dig back in from the north once again. So that's as far as we get to with the GFS midnight run to the 2nd of April. Looking colder with winds in are uh, from the north. The GFS 6 z again under this very slight little transient ridge on uh, Monday ahead of the next areas of low pressure coming in through uh, the middle part of next week from the bouts of rain likely with those areas of low pressure. Real low pressure fest here. Uh, right way up to day 10, low pressure is in control. What a contrast on February, isn't it? It's exciting, right? So it's very wet, windy, bare around the 29th of March. Could be gale force winds with that. And uh, that's how we look as we get to the end of the GFS6. So it's still looking unsettled, still with low pressure dominating. Relatively mild, both. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know. What you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Thanks so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. We need to put on around 27, 26 or 27 subscribers to get to 15.7k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be absolutely lovely. And tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. Spread the word about Gals Web. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, GM again on Monday, a little, little bit of transient ridge ahead of the next area of low pressure. That's coming in Tuesday to Wednesday. And then low pressure just in control really through next week, bringing bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic. Eventually, start to draw down some colder air from the north as well with the GM as the low pressures shift away to the east. Heights rise a little bit towards green and Iceland. And that starts to bring in some colder air from the northwest. And uh, from the north around days 8, 9 and 10, probably turning showers back uh, to snow across parts of Scotland there by day 10. And then the ECM uh, once more with a little transient ridge ahead of the next low on Monday. Tuesday brings that low in from off the Atlantic. Plenty of unsettled weather to come through next week with spells of rain across the country and by days 9 and 10. Again, just going a little bit colder as the low pressure moves away to the east and brings some cold air back in from the north. Although not as blocked, not as much northern blocking as like the GM has. The GM has proper high pressure around Greenland and ice and the ECM doesn't really have that. But it does turn things a little bit colder, certainly cooler, uh, by day sort of 9 and 10. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomecho.com. Plenty of uh, rain to come. In the next week, well, it's a little bit dry at the end of the weekend into uh, next week down in the south, but not for long. Wet weather uh, is coming through off the Atlantic throughout most of next week. Cold enough for a little bit of winteriness with that wet weather at times in the north as well. And showers along the spells of rain keep going uh, toward day 10. As it gets a bit colder, so the showers could really start to turn a little bit wintry again further southwards, actually. That's how look by day 10, starting to get a bit drier. And to that little ridge of high pressure. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, right, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. It will get us to the 27th of March. 21 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure around Greenland and uh, in the North Atlantic. Low pressure 
the way to the east that is bringing down something a little bit colder from the north and is unsettled as well 17 very similar again high pressure around Greenland in the north Atlantic low pressure is through the country so both these options are 21 and the 17 are basically chilly at the very least possibly cold and also unsettled and then 13 just here with low pressure over the country there is some high pressure towards green but that is being winged in from more of a westerly direction or southwesterly direction so that course is going to be milder and then in two in time these are the options that we've got it will get us to the first of april 21 members of the east seven souls with lots of low pressure in from off the Atlantic, continue to look at the settle 15 with uh, low pressure to the east, high pressure is to the west, and winds will be coming down the chilly northerly direction. And then another 15 with deep low pressure right over top of the country. It all looks a little bit grim, I have to say, for uh, <laughs> for the end of March and into April. There's no sign of like a push from the Azores high or anything like that. It all looks very unsettled and uh, probably quite cool as well. I then CFSB2 finally for April. So this is the latest 700 millibar high to only forecast from the CFS for April with a mid-Atlantic ridge going to Greenland. A low pressure owed to south the coach that will bring a wind in from east or north east direction. So it looks like it will be quite chilly in April, if that's right. Uh, temperature anomaly shows no particular signal, but I wouldn't see why quite a cold month could be possible, you know, below average anyway. Obviously, it's April, so we're not going to be talking about deaths of winter, but you know, to, to average, I would have thought it's going to be a, a cooler than average month. And um, precipitation wise, no particular single, but I would have thought it was going to be unsettled, but it's likely with about 700 millibar high tide placing that trough over the west of Europe combined with the northern blocking. Um, a cool and unsettled April following a cool uh, or a cold and unsettled March, maybe. Although it is wild at the moment, so you get out and enjoy the spring-like feel if uh, you'd like to do that this afternoon. Right, well, we're done. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Don't forget to, uh, to uh, like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Tell your friends and family to sub as well. And uh, help get us, get us to 15 uh, Point seven can Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Right, so uh, that's it for today's content. Then no live stream uh, tonight. It will be back. I promise you. I will do the final Friday night live uh, next Friday. Final for this current season, uh, of course. Series. Um, no, uh, that will be uh, next Friday. Over the weekend tomorrow, we've got the six a.m. upload for you. That should be back. Uh, I'll get that done this evening. And uh, also a uh, weekend forecast and 10 to 14 day as well. And uh, then on Sunday, you, you know, be 6 a.m. upload, uh, another summer update and uh, whatnot. So plenty of content to come over the weekend. The next live stream will be on Monday at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, right then, so you enjoy the rest of your Friday. I'm going to go and have another sleep, I think, um, and uh, try and get this headache out of my eyes. So uh, you go and have a lovely rest of your Friday. And for this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.